What's been your experience with that? So, yeah, my dad was tough. He was a disciplinarian. Um, he spanked me, which I have no problem with. I, I do have a challenge with some of the reasons that I was spanked as a kid. Um, I only spanked my children for defiance. If I tell you to do something and you defy me, then we will get a spanking. I believe that that is what the Bible assigns me, you know, to do as a parent, right? Um, so, but nothing outside of defiance gets a spanking from me. I ask them questions. I get them to come to their own conclusion about the things that they did wrong. Um, and from an expectation perspective, I do have expectations that they get good grades because I know that's going to develop a certain discipline in them. But outside of that, my expectations for my kids are pretty low. And, you know, and I'm not saying that's right or wrong. What the reason I think that I keep them that way is because I think so many parents, so many dads, especially create this vision of what they think their child's life should be or their dream for their child. And then that gets pushed on the child. And so I've also found with training different human beings that different people are different, different things motivate different people. And it's not always going to be money. So um, I don't want to be disappointed I don't want to set an expectation of my children that they'll never reach. Um, I want them to know that I love them, that I'm there to support them, but I'm also tough, right? Sure. I don't just give them anything. They don't just get money from me. They've got to work for it, right? They, they've got to do my sales training, like my virtual, uh, my virtual sales training. For every video that they watch and they answer all the test questions right, I'll pay them a dollar or two. Right. And it goes over to their green light account. And then if they want to go get something, they can get it. But don't come to me telling me, Daddy, can I have 10 bucks to ride my bike down to Walmart to buy something? No, the bank and daddy's closed. You can make your own money. You've got the path and the tools to do it. If you don't want to do it, then you can stay home. And, and correct me if I if my assumption's wrong here, but you know, I I agree with that. And that's instilling good habits and instilling a good work ethic inside yeah. of children that otherwise jesus they're not going to get that from anywhere else it's certainly no. not learning that at school that's for sure man i bought all my own clothes since the time i was 11 years old so i mean i didn't like the stuff the kmart and the walmart shit that my parents were buying for me the kmart shoes that i couldn't stop in the, the gym on i mean they would just slide all the way across the floor uh, I didn't get the cool stuff and I wanted to find fit in. Right. So I started using my money in the beginning just to buy something that would help me to fit in a little bit. So, I mean, uh, if I've been buying all my own clothes since I was 11, there's no reason my kids can't, if they, you know, I'm not going to make that a requirement, but um, I want to give them the tools to go out and do that. if They want to. Yeah. Cause that sure as shit ain't putting the high end designer stuff on. Right. Just, they're just ruining it. So the last thing I want to say, um, and I just this is more really of a thank you to you. Um, you know, I, I just want to tell this quick story. I reached out to you not long ago, um, and we had not had we, we've had several conversations, but not really personal conversation. No. And, and I asked you for a favor um, to get me set up with a company nearby because I needed to work some. I need to do some work locally. 